Hello guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you what a function in Python is. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. So, a function, it's a block of instruction, okay, which can be called in the program, okay, and it can be made use of anywhere inside the program because it is reusable. It's reusable piece of code which can be called and manipulated according to your convenience. So let me define my uh, function with the DEF keyword. Okay, this is how you define a function with the function name. I am giving it as display for this case and followed by parentheses and then a colon. And now if I want to call this display method, I'll say display followed by parentheses. This is how you call a method, call a function. This is how you call a function in Python, okay? The function name followed by parentheses. Okay, if I run this program, it will give me error. Why? Because I have not specified or mentioned anything inside this function. You cannot leave a function blank, okay? You cannot leave it blank. You have to at least provide a pass keyword or pass statement inside the display method function. You have to mention a pass keyword inside the display function as a pass. Okay, if I do this, I'm telling the Python interpreter that I'm as of now I'm not going to write anything inside the display function, but don't give me error for that. So I make use of the pass statement. Okay, if I run this uh, program now. It does not give me any error okay if I print this display function you can see it returns me none why because the display function uh, it's not returning you anything okay because you have just mentioned a pass statement inside the display function and the interpreter it does not find any return value for the function so it displays a none as the output so I'm going to return something from this function okay I'll return hello Python if I return this hello Python if when I call the display function okay when I print it out it will print the return value okay I'm calling the display function it go, goes to the display function definition okay and then it will return you the hello Python which will get printed it is same as printing hello python okay these both statements become equal because display function call is returning you hello python okay that's about uh, a simple function call and what if i want to uh, have an argument inside this uh, function okay argument is some kind of a variable or attribute which can store a value at runtime okay when I make a call, I can specify the name. For the name argument, I can give some value. Okay, if I pass this value inside the function call, during runtime, the name is replaced by Python. Okay, and then I don't need to return both hello and Python. I can just say hello, and then I can say I can add this uh, string along with hello. If I run this program now, you can see hello python. If instead of python, if you want java, it will just change the hello python to hello java. Okay. This way you can make the uh, your program very dynamic using the function. So that is a very important thing about the function. It can just, uh, you can just manipulate and play with the function according to your convenience. It will return you values. What do you need? For your kind of experiments what you perform in the program <laughs> okay that's about passing a, a single argument now I'll pass two arguments like num1 and num2 okay during runtime I want two values to be passed to this num1 and num2 I'll say 10 and 20 and I'll return num1 plus num2 I want the addition of uh, 10 and 20 and I want the result to be printed 
So I make a call to the function display, provide the uh, um, attributes values as 10 and 20, and uh, it will get stored in the uh, um, uh, arguments in the runtime. And I'm going to add both and return you the value. Run this, you can see the value is 30. Now I can call this multiple times. And each time you call, you can change the uh, values. Okay. And the function will return you different values. Okay, this is a very important thing about this uh, function because it can just give you the kind of result you want. Okay, now before calling this display, let me call it uh, print the directory. Okay, I'm just going to call the dir function before display. If you are in this program, you can see the attributes inside the directory of uh, Python. Okay, now I'll try to do one thing. I'll call this uh, dir function, print this dir function after I create the display function. You can see the display function is added. Once you define the display function, it gets added into the directory. Okay. So, what if I don't specify? If I have this as a name, I'll go back to my hello Python. Uh, string okay I'll say hello plus name and I'll call the display function as display parentheses and I'll pass the name as Python I'll print this okay you can see hello Python and suppose if you don't pass anything inside this Python what happens let's see that I'm not passing any argument any value for the argument name okay I'll just run this. You can see an error. It says one required positional argument name. You have, it's a mandatory argument. Okay, you cannot just avoid this. You have to provide a value inside the display function call. Okay, if you don't specify, if you don't give any value inside this function call, it will land up in error. Okay, because interpreter says, there is one required positional argument with the name name okay you can see it in the console okay so what if I want a value to be defaulted okay suppose the user does not enter anything inside the display function call but I want a default value for this name I can give it as name equals inside the argument I can give it as name and I can say Python in string because uh, I can just enter it as Python okay now even if the uh, user does not enter anything if I run this program you can see hello Python is getting executed okay I am giving a default argument this is called default argument okay I'm providing a default value for the name uh, argument so it gets executed it does not land up in error okay now if what if I have uh, I am entering Java here okay now I have a default value for name but I am providing in in a different scenario I'm providing a value inside this function called as Java now let us run this program now you can see that name Python is overwritten with Java okay name Python the Python value is just a default value okay if in case the user does not provide anything that default value is taken into consideration okay if the user enters a value in this case the user is entering a value java it will consider that value and this default value is overwritten with java in this case and it prints out hello java okay so that's about uh, this is a positional argument and uh, a default argument okay this is also called a keyword argument okay because you can provide it in the a default value in the argument is so it's called default argument also so let me see a different case wherein I have name as Python okay I'm providing two default values and the value as 30 suppose okay and I'll 
I'll return. Okay, I'll return both these values. I'll say name equals this and value equals this. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll pass Java and I'll pass 40 for the value. Okay, because in this case now you have two arguments. Okay, and both uh, both are like keyword arguments or default arguments. Okay, if I run this program, you can see name equal to Java and value equal to 40. Why? Because the user is providing both these values in the function call. What if the user just provides one value as Java? It will say name equals to Java and value equals the default value. Okay, now you can see a strange case here. If I enter a value as 30, okay, I'm just providing one value. Okay, what happens now? You can see that the name is replaced. What if you enter only one value in the function call? Okay, and if you have two default arguments, okay, what happens is that the the uh, value what you pass inside the function call will go and sit inside this first keyword argument so in this case name becomes 30 okay and value is still 30 it is not going to get affected but this value is going to get stored into name keyword argument and now you can see the result as name equals 30 and value equals 30 so you can avoid this by using if you want this value to go and pass inside value okay you don't want it to go and pass inside name okay you just don't want to do that so in that case you can just mention now you can enter a value as 40 okay now if you run this program you can see the value is overwritten with 40 the value what you're providing and the name is not affected okay this is how you avoid such a problem as such a mess inside this uh, function call okay you just provide the keyword argument to be value equals 40 okay so that's it about uh, functions in uh, uh, python so if you have any questions please leave a comment and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you